Hey, hey, Cozy Gamer, Misty here, and today I'm going to share with you how I use the multiplayer feature, or glitch, some may say, in Disney Dreamlight Valley to basically get unlimited resources. First, a quick disclaimer. I recommend doing this with someone you know and trust. The primary reason for this is that the person you're playing with could decide to disappear with all your stuff, okay? <laughs> Secondly, there is currently an issue with people dropping off hacked blue chests that can, I'm hearing, uh, potentially completely destroy your save file. So definitely not worth it. Make sure you pick someone you trust to do this with. I do this with my sister every couple weeks. We keep a list of resources we're low on. We hop on for an hour or two and knock it all out. Honestly, it's the most we've talked to each other in years. And it's really fun to just hop on the phone with her, have a reason to do that, you know, because we don't live nearby each other and just connect in that way on something we have in common. So what you're seeing here is that I have opened up my valley using the multiplayer portal. I then gave my sister the code so that she could go to her title screen and in the multiplayer area, enter the code to get into my valley. Then I came over and just to save time, because there is a bit of a time element to this, I have dropped my items here so that they're just ready when she shows up. Okay, now, I know some of you enjoy grinding for resources, and if that's you, feel free to keep doing that. That's totally fine. My sister works full time, and I have kids and online work that keep me occupied, so when we do play Dreamlight Valley, we prefer to not spend what little time we have grinding for resources. We'd rather just be able to get in and build whatever decor, paths, fences, etc. You know, just be designing and creating and doing other tasks um, without having to worry about being out of resources all the time and having to go source those. And I can assure you that we did our fair share of resource gathering before it was an option to duplicate our items in this way. So we, we've done our time. Okay, so with that being said, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this multiplayer duplication glitch. Please ignore the fact that my dropped items have just magically changed here. We did have a little bit of a technical problem. I'm not gonna throw my sister under the bus, but I think she uh, did it wrong. It happens sometimes, especially if we haven't done this for a little while. And that's okay, cause you know, we trust each other that we're, we're gonna make sure that we each end up with items at the end of all this, right? So anyway, we had to start fresh um, and, and here's where I started recording again. As you can see, my sister has entered my valley and now she's picking up all of the items that I dropped. It is at this point that she is saving her game. So she's saving the game with the items in her pockets. And then she's going to drop the items. This is where you'll see me start to pick up the items to get them back in my pockets. I wish I could have actually recorded both of our voices as we were doing this. There's always lots of silliness, talk about, you know, who's pooping out the items and <laughs> just always there's other characters around that come and watch us and get in the way and it's kind of funny sometimes. So at this point, the person who was visiting your valley, I'm gonna call them player two, um, in my case, my sister, she can ditch out. Now, it depends on which console or what uh, system you're on, how to do that. It's the same way you do a Scrooge refresh. Basically, however you can get out of the game without saving. I know on my Steam Deck, I can do that by um, hitting the Steam button and it'll pull up like a Dreamlight Valley menu and I can click exit game with, and it, it exits it without saving again. I should add that all of that, that little time span where she has saved and then I have picked um, or she's dropped the items and then she ditches out, that needs to happen within five minutes, okay? Because if it doesn't happen within five minutes, the game will automatically resave and she will be left with nothing in her pockets. 
So if you want to, after you pick everything up into your pockets, you can save. Otherwise, you probably don't need to because I believe the game is automatically saving when someone exits your valley. So what I'm doing here is determining, I have too many items. If she has half her pockets filled or more than half her pockets filled, and I have more than half of my pockets filled, then we're gonna have too many items to be able to do this with. But essentially the idea is that the first time you have done this, you will both have one copy of all of the items you dropped. So if she brings some items and you have some items, you're basically combining all of that and both of you are having a save file that contains all of the items you each had. There's no duplication has happened at this point. You just both have saved with all the items you contributed to, um, you know, this whole process. Now, the second time that they come in, and because of our technical glitch, this was like the second or third time that she came into my valley here. Um, the second time it will start duplicating. So uh, player two is going, well, you're gonna drop your items. Player one's gonna drop your their items. Then player two is gonna pick them up. It's gonna combine with all the items they brought in. And then player two will drop all of the items. Essentially, you both end up with every single item duplicated. I hope that makes sense. And you just keep doing this over and over and over again. When you have more than half your pockets full, you go drop some stuff because the game doesn't let you use your chests. And player two will need to actually log back into their game and ditch some of their items as well so that both of you only have about half of your pockets full. Okay, and then they'll need to go back to their title screen and come back. That part of it can be a little bit of a timely process. You see here, I'm just kind of like dilly dallying and waiting for her to arrive. And I have gone ahead and to save time because um, because there is that five minute window between the game auto saving. Uh, I just go ahead and drop my items before she comes. It's also very helpful to That's do that right. just because oh, no. once she Good arrives, the game can get really choppy and slow sometimes, depending on, I don't know, the servers or the devices we're on, whatever. Sometimes it gets a little bit slow and we get pretty dang close to that five minute time window. So it's just a lot easier if I go ahead and drop my items, then when she comes in, she doesn't have to stand there and wait for me to drop them. She can just pick them up, load up her pockets, save, drop everything for me. Then my game saves or I, I maybe manually save it as she's leaving my valley. And then we do it all over again. So as she comes back in, you'll get to see us do this process again. And I will pop up the whole list of um, everything so you can screenshot it if you need to while we're waiting. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you do enjoy this type of content, please make sure to give this video a like and comment to let me know so I can make more how-to videos just like this. So my sister is back. Let's just go through this again to make sure that you fully understand what's happening here. So I've dropped all my items that I kept in my pockets. Now she's picking them up to combine them with the items that she has in her pockets. And she's going to save. We can't see that because it's uh, over on her side. And then she's gonna start dropping items again. Here I am going to pick them up while Donald is uh, getting in the way. <laughs> what are you doing, Donald? Oh my gosh, no, just no. <laughs> Always throwing a bit, always. And this is how the items duplicate. It is magical. It's a wonderful guest on, seriously. <laughs> Strutting his stuff. Stop macking on my sister, Gaston. Okay, now my sister knows that since she's dropped the items, she can just kind of escape out of her game, make sure that it gets out without saving again on her while she has empty pockets. We have done this with flowers. You need to be out in an open area when you do that. If you have pathing and all kinds of stuff in the way, you know, the flowers, if you've got 50 flowers, <laughs> or more, a lot. If you have a lot of flowers, 
they're going to spread out all over the place and it can be a little bit of a pain. I wouldn't try to do too, too many with the flowers. Another tip I'll add is if you need in-game currency, money, <laughs> you'll see I've got about $12 million in here. I'm grabbing some large seafood platters. Now my sister and I have used these before with the duplication glitch. And so that's why I have kept a row of them in my inventory, in my house there, in a storage chest. And so I'm able to pull them into my pockets and we can quickly just make more. So we would normally only do this when we are getting kind of low on funds, maybe under like $2 million. I don't know. I seem to be spending more and more and more in the screw shop until there's a lull of like, I, I've got all the items, right? Or I'm not decorating right now. But anytime I'm decorating, I love to be able to just go into the screw shop and go through the list and see what do I have zero items of? What do I have only one or two of? And just kind of stock up on all that so that when I am decorating, I have at least something, you know, at least one of every item. Now, here I am doing the, the seafood platters just to show you another tip right here. You saw I grabbed those gifts. Those gifts are amazing for leveling up your valley villagers okay <laughs> so all you have to do is go and craft the gifts at your crafting table and then you will be able to use them with this duplication glitch it takes about i think 60 65 of these gifts mm -hmm. to l fully level up one villager it's so much faster than flowers uh, even purified night shards. It's currently, as I'm recording this, probably the best, fastest way to level up new villagers with, um, you know, the fewest number of gifts given. Hopefully I said that correctly. Um, so yeah, this is how we do this. We just drop stacks and stacks of, you know, large seafood platters and the gifts and we, we duplicate them. So here are a few ideas of other things you can and should definitely duplicate if you're taking advantage of this glitch. Dreamlight. So you can't actually duplicate Dreamlight, but you can duplicate Dream Shards and turn them into Dreamlight. Also, time bending resources. So anything that you would get on Eternity, you know, from the Eternity Isle expansion with your uh, time bending wand, whatever it's called, um, those kinds of resources, especially the more rare ones that you only get on certain days of the week. Also pixel shards. Those are the things that you see kind of on the right side of my screen there, or um, I'm not sure if I'll be spinning the camera out. Yeah, anyway, the little rainbow things that drop when your friend is visiting your valley, if you grab a few of those, y'all can duplicate those, or you can go and craft a few uh, items with them and duplicate the crafted items. That's even better if you take the time to do that. Also, special event items, so like Easter eggs, um, the buttons that we had with the recent Parks Fest or whatever it was called, event. Um, just any special items that only occur during part of the year, certain time of the year, like the candy around Halloween, that kind of stuff. If you can go and, and duplicate some of that, you'll have extra so that you can craft some of the other items with that. So I hope that just kind of gets your juices flowing as to what is possible with this duplication glitch, how it can really save you time. I definitely recommend duplicate the item that's kind of like the furthest down the line. So like the crafted item, not the raw resource. For example, instead of duplicating a bunch of iron ore, unless that's what you have and you don't have um, you know, iron bars, Duplicate the iron bars instead because that's just going to get you there that much faster, right? It's going to take several iron ores to make an iron bar, whereas you can just duplicate the heck out of your iron bars and have plenty to last you a long time. So that's another tip. And if I think of any more, I will put them down in the description. Again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, let me know 
in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this and if there's any other specific how-to videos that you would like to see. And with that, I will say make today amazing and I will see you in the next video.